Now, the first commandment will be check thyself before you wreck thyself. So tonight is called First Impressions. I wanted to take time to get to know each one personally before we embarked on this journey. So the judges and I sat down to speak with each one of them individually. You didn't give me a hug. No hugging. <laughs> I'm sorry my breast assist hit you up. <laughs> now the moment Becky sat down, it became clean next city, baby. She could hardly talk. After getting to know the girls the first night, I felt like they needed a little bonding. So the second commandment, thou shall go with girl. Do we have a can opener? So they gonna give us food we can't even eat. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why well, I look like a Flintstone character? That's <laughs> right. We well, used to do it. I don't know how the used to do that. I don't think you're doing it right. Uh huh. I just seen it on Brokeback Mountain the other day. Yes, because the pot is melting. Now, ladies, commandment three is thou shall show some class. One young lady will be able to go to a special event with Mr. Firestone tomorrow night. So I go to get my dresses and they're gone. I grab her clothes and run those suckers downstairs. Or even if I have to drive somewhere. <laughs> that was faker than the weave she had in her hair. What up? Commandment number four, thou shall work what thou art working with. You'll be competing to design and create your own couture look. <laughs> oh my God. What is that? I am a big woman. And if y'all were gonna pick her and use her, she should have been absolutely fierce. And I don't need help. Welcome to your next lesson. Thou shall spit mad game with style. The Cal State Fullerton debate team is going to teach you a thing or two today. All right, I'd like to welcome you all to the first ever charm school debate. Why did you feel that shaking your breast was an appropriate action? <laughs> huh? Maybe tomorrow, sister, you'll straighten out your attitude. I wanted to shake her like, why aren't you getting this? Today's commandment, mind that money. The girls are going to make, market, and sell their own custom fragrance. Brooke's team look like a bunch of whores. Here we are on Hollywood and Highland. Hello. How you doing? Hello. We sell a perfume today. Would you like to come over? <laughs> Welcome to your next commandment. Thou shall pay us back. Laylene only had stripper clothes in her suitcase. Oh, we're screwed. That funny smell. She has our pissed off on it. That's nasty, fat, nasty. Pissed off right now at this fool standing here telling me my stuff ain't worth Safari, Safari. No! You're okay with how you're doing with your teammate? <laughs> It's thou shall represent. Kevin and I, we've brought in a celebrity interviewer who's going to be asking you some questions about charm school. When New York walks through the door, I'm thinking, oh, snap. New York was brought in as the ultimate test of these girls' ability to stay cool under pressure. That you have a history of dating abusive men. How did you feel after you got your ass beaten? This is New York signing off, interviewing another dumbass, fake ass bitch. I think it's important that the ladies learn about relationships because I know these ladies have bad judgment when it comes to men. Do like the Ah, uh, girl. Let's go. Oh, the prom has just started. Like, just started. And Brooke was being slutatious. Break it down. Let me see I got this. Offer. Which ocean did you get your <laughs> seashells hanging from them little tiny ass braids in the back of your head? Cut. The last commandment is about bringing together everything they've learned throughout the whole process of charm school. Beautiful, confident, self assured women. Like, my mouth dropped because they just look absolutely beautiful. And she took that power and she changed people's mind. She stopped people from being judgmental. 